Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. Last year I released this 3D rotating text After Effects template, but this was in 1080p and some of you asked for a 4K version. So I finally made one. It's now available on filmnet.com or on our Gumroad page. And in this video, I'll quickly show you guys how this template works and how you can quickly change it to your own style and of course your own text. So let's dive right into it. So this is the After Effects template. There's a few folders. There's one folder where you can change the text. There's two folders uh, with a different effect on it. And then there's one folder with a composition of the 3D text with some background elements, which is pretty cool. And finally, the fourth folder is just the elements itself, which are all EPS files. So you can actually play around with it in Illustrator yourself, scale things, uh, adjust them, whatever. So the first compositions are for changing the text. There's one composition with a spotlight on it. And there's one composition that is uh, very flat like this. And of course, if you just double click on the text, you can simply change it to whatever you like. And if you want to tweak the settings, just click here and play around with the different colors. When you go down here, there's the rotation animation. And as you can see, I've added an expression, so it loops. If it's going too slow or too fast, you can of course play around with these keyframes yourself, tweak them a little bit. It's pretty easy to, uh, to adjust. So that's it for the text compositions. Now when we head over to this folder, you can see our text composition is right here, but it has another layer with fractal noise. So you get this cloud-like effect, which I personally really like. The blue layers are for the version with the spotlight. If you want to use the version that is flat, just disable these two and enable these two layers. And there you go. Now, when we head over to the second folder, again, you have a layer with the spotlight and a layer of the flat text. But this time I've added some noise to it. One for the spotlight and one for the flat text. And of course, if you want to tweak these settings, just go over to the effects panel and it's right here. So you can play around with it. And then the third folder has a composition with some extra elements. I've added six different elements that all have a slightly different look. So you can really spice up your animation. Of course, you can also add your own videos to the background and uh, really make it pop. And like I said, this time I added EPS files, so you can actually edit them in Adobe Illustrator and adjust them to your own needs. If you want to change the color of one of these elements, just simply click on them, go to the effects control panel, and over here you can quickly change the color to anything you like. Very simple. That's pretty much it. If you guys purchased this, thank you for supporting us. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.